It's a real regime almost. Oh, hell no. They're talking about me. All I needed was one ball. The science of training. And I know you don't think it's a sport. If you start drinking all your protein, right, instead of eating it, mm -hmm. right, or like majority of it, you, some people blend chicken, you know, I've seen. Um, aren't you going to worry your kidneys? Isn't it really bad for you to keep drinking protein? No, okay, 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 okay. I would like to know if you, you would have been, you've seen a study somewhere that uh, blended protein or a supplemental protein, concentrated protein in powder form would uh, uh, affect kidneys any other way than regular protein coming from a protein sources of uh, uh, any food that you're eating. I mean, really, uh, so uh, there is, you know, uh, assumption by people. And uh, I had this from very beginning of my career when I was loudly speaking and suggesting that I take minimum 450 to 550 grams of protein every single day, every single day. For uh, 15 years straight. Oh, you're going to damage your kidneys. Oh, you're going to, oh my God, oh my God. I never had a kidney problem in my life. But uh, it's like on uh, seminars that I'm doing, and uh, sometimes when I talk about this protein intake, and here comes some medical doctor from the audience. Oh, excuse me, but this is very dangerous, you know, for kidneys. I say, okay, can you please, as a doctor that knows what he's talking about, point out to me any study that shows toxic level of protein or a healthy renal system. It's different if you're a renal patient and you have a damaged kidney, you know, this is a completely different story, but I'm talking about average people. So now, as we mentioned, Max Charles drinking egg whites. I had a Ernie Taylor uh, and uh, uh, Adia Bullock, English guys, that I guess that was very common. They can eat the chicken, so they blend the chicken and drink it that way. And I, they did it in my gym. It was disgusting. Oh, my God. You know, blender, like, oh, did she ever use my blender for that? You know, you know, I really don't see it. And I, again, maybe I'm wrong, right? Because uh, I don't believe in it. You know, because uh, what am I doing, actually? I suggest, you know, to people, why do you take protein? Why do you really eat that chicken? What, what do you want to get from it? Oh, you want to get amino acids. Okay. So you want to get amino acids. Mostly you want to get essential amino acids because non-essential amino acids can be manufactured in your body as needed instantly. There are many pathways that any other amino acid other than essential could be manufactured in your body. So we are telling vegetarians or we are telling you know people to have a complete protein. What does complete mean? It means it has all the essential amino acids in the right amounts. So... You know, one of those seminars uh, when uh, somebody asked me, so Milos, what would be better to take uh, chicken or beef or turkey or fish or maybe protein powder or essential amino acids? So I said, like, well, what is your goal? I want a constant influx of uh, essential amino acids in the bloodstream. So I would have it for my muscle tissue when I need it, for any of my organs, for hair, for skin, for enzymes, hormones. I would want to have a uh, essential amino acids and if you ask me the reason why i eat that chicken breast that i hate i don't like i eat it so my body can digest it uh, those peptides uh, into the smaller peptides the peptides oligopeptides and three form aminos and from these three form aminos essential ones are gonna 100 percent for sure be used in a protein synthesis of a new muscle and uh probably there is enough non-essential that is gonna you know, be there to uh, complete synthesis of whatever tissue or, or we're talking about muscle. But keep in mind, 18 out of 20 amino acids are glycogenic, which means it can easily convert to the glucose. So I believe that, yeah, there's, if you overdo the protein, right, you know, some of those uh, amino acids are going to be converted into the glucose. You know, on, uh, so on that note, with this logic, for me, essential amino acids are better to take than, than actually uh, chicken or turkey or fish or beef. I know it's a controversy, but we're talking of the purpose. I eat this chicken to get my essential amino acids, but I'm not going to just get the essential amino acids. I'm going to get non-essential salt fat, this, uh, 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 what do you call it, collateral damage. <laughs> it's something that you don't really want, but you do it because... Uh, 
you're going to get your essential amino acids. You know, essential amino acids that I was actually taking uh, 120 grams a day. You know, I wanted to make sure I, I would take my essential amino acids in between meals. You know, essential amino acids, glutamine, you know, things that I find to just maintain constant circulation of, of those. It's interesting because I was talking to Dennis Wolf years ago and he told me one time he was prepping and he was eating primarily fish. And he said that um, he was getting the same amount of protein out of that, but that he couldn't get the result he wanted because he said chicken and steak, he had that fiber and he looked harder when he was, he was eating that type of stuff than fish. So, so, uh, you, don't, you, don't, uh, so but you, don't, you don't believe that actually like what kind of protein you eat will determine the outcome? Yeah, okay, so let's face it. And I said this so is to the guys. And so can I eat uh, uh, fish? Can I eat? Uh, John Brown said it the best. He said, if I want to look like a chicken, I'll eat chicken. If I want to look like a shrimp, I'll eat shrimp. I want to look like a goddamn bison. You know? So uh, this, this is how he said, okay, this is a little bit uh, <laughs> uh, you know, funny. But the structure of all uh, proteins are different in a fish, in a beef, in a... You know? So uh, obviously, uh, we are not getting the same structure and all the amino, uh, essential amino acids as you will get from everything else. You know, I've seen people, like Kevin Lebroni used to do just fish, fish, fish diet. And uh, it's a famous video you can see in, from England, the guy, the uh, fish and the rice cake diet. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you, if you didn't see it and the audience didn't see it, uh, you know, Google it, it's really funny. You know, for some reason, okay, fish is the best protein source because it's like so low fat, Listen, you need some fats, of course, and uh, there is a reason why, you know, when you have a beef meal, it makes a huge difference in comparison to chicken meal. You have some saturated fats, and saturated fats still needed for your hormones, for, for testosterone and everything else. Uh, and another thing that Charles Polykin brought out, uh, you know, for me that uh, I paid attention, if you eat exclusively one type, chicken, 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 or fish, 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 fish in all the meals. You become allergic to it. You're gonna start making, uh, you know, antibodies where you're gonna be uh, allergic to the exact protein that you're exclusively eating. I didn't believe him. We did a test, and he was right. You know, so my diet would be variety of, you know, chicken and eggs and fish and beef. You know, mix it up. Uh, you see, I don't understand why you know some people go into this kind of diet. Uh, you make the meals for the next three hours, right? You need certain amount of protein, carbohydrates, fat, and calories. So if you calculate what are your caloric needs and what macronutrients you need, obviously protein is the only building nutrient, but you need the energy nutrient, fat and carbohydrates, both or either or. And then if you're in a deficit, obviously what's going to happen? If you're caloric deficient, you are going to lose something, okay? If you're deficient in protein, you might you know, uh, catabolize and metabolize your muscle to give you that energy. Because energy is first priority, uh, uh, in, uh, energy is uh, number one priority of your body. So uh, whatever you eat, if energy is missing, whatever macronutrient you take, body is going to convert it to the energy, including protein. Now, protein can be converted to your energy, but fat and carbohydrates cannot be converted into building material. So this is why we emphasize high protein intake, high protein intake for hypertrophy a type of sport like a, like a bodybuilding. But if you are having all the protein you want, but you are um, deficient in, in a, a total amount of calories and energy, and we know that you're gonna use a, a carbohydrate energy, glucose for uh, your muscle contractions for weight lifting, right? Uh, you need it, and then people cut down the carbs completely down to nothing. So where is your muscle going to get this uh, glucose for muscle contractions? If you're super low on, a, on a carbohydrates for a long time, right? Uh, you deplete your glycogen, you don't have any glucose. Amino acids have to be converted, okay, into the glucose. Amino acids either from a protein that you're eating or from muscle that you have. So you're either going to catabolize the muscle, get smaller, or you could, that protein that is gonna, supposed to build your muscle is going to be used for energy, so you can't get bigger. So either way, you lose. Uh, so now, for, for carbohydrates, right, uh, and fats, uh, if you eat fish diet, like you're telling me, fish diet on the low carbs, it's a suicide waiting to happen. 
Okay, so you have a uh, no uh, fats because I guess fish that they're going to be taking is uh, you know low fat. So they're choosing fish over anything else because it has lesser fat. Hmm. Okay, so you have no fat and very low carbs, and quality of protein is maybe not uh, equal to other uh, sources of protein. Who the hell created this kind of diet, and why? I mean, I'm just questioning. And if you have it, I would go to debate. Why on earth would you be on the inferior protein and lack of uh, calories and uh, lack of uh, uh, energy nutrients?